Hi, my name is Steve Miller, and I'm happy to be in Guildhall and participate in this uh, fundraiser for an institution that's really important to me and to the eastern end of Long Island. I have to say that I came via two access points. One is because Robert Longo was the curator of the show, and he was a neighbor of mine in New York City when I came to New York. Oh my God, I don't even want to say, I think it was 1980. Robert was a next door neighbor, and he also spent time in Buffalo, New York, where I'm from. So it's sort of interesting that we're both ending up in East Hampton at Guildhall, and I really look forward to his show. So my piece is from a series called Health of the Planet. And one thing that I really love in art is this idea of the diptych. And you know, in the diptych, you have two paintings, usually like that, edge to edge. And I thought it would be, and what I like about the diptych is that it's, it's something where you go to either side of the image. And I also love that it's like a jump cut in film. And I used to be a filmmaker. So the idea that there's this filmic quality of scene one, scene two. So the scene that you're looking at is from a series called Health of the Planet. And it was a 10 year project to x-ray the Amazon in Brazil. And the idea was I went to Brazil, I had a show down there and I saw the incredible natural beauty of Brazil from a coastline of thousands of miles of water to the interior landscape that's, as we know, very fragile and at the moment being decimated with burning. And so when I went down there, there was that common idea that the Amazon were the lungs of the planet. And I've been working with medical technology, in, in this case, x-rays, but other forms of technology in my work. And I was thinking, wow, if Brazil and the Amazon are the lungs of our planet, I could give Brazil and the world a metaphorical medical checkup by taking x-rays of the lungs, and in this case, animals and plants in the Amazon. So I started out here, I was started out in going to actually uh, Sao Paulo, and the reason why was they had a hospital there that was willing to work with me, and one of the largest flower markets in the world. So I went in with a botanist who was familiar with Amazon plants, and this one is really interesting because you're looking through the plant now, you're seeing an x-ray. But what, what you're seeing, in, it, without this transparency, you're seeing a fleshy colored ball with these hairs on it. And the, I asked the, the merchant what it was called. It was called Sacco Valio, which means old sack. And I'll let you interpret that as you wish. And I thought, wow, it'd be really interesting to see what was inside of this. And when I took it to the hospital and x-rayed it, all of a sudden you see this male-female dichotomy, which I really loved, right? You have the, the fleshy male exterior, and then you have this female interior. And I thought, wow, this is a really beautiful metaphor for the completeness of what nature can offer us, how fragile and beautiful it is. And then uh, when I was spending a lot of time in Brazil and mostly in Rio, the city is on the water and everybody surfs. And water culture and the natural environment is really important to the people of Brazil. And I, I was thinking, you know, I had gone into actually at one point, I went into the Amazon, I went to a town, I got the animals, I x-rayed an alligator. And the first thing I put on the surfboard was an x-ray of an alligator. And the reason why was I was thinking I could make some form of an eco trophy, like we didn't kill the alligator, we x-rayed the alligator and the alligator went back into its habitat. And that was sort of this symbol of this kind of trophy, ego trophy. And the other thing about the surfboard is the surfboard's a very iconic image all over the world. It has that notion of a totem and a primal shield. And I really love that idea that you could have this sort of art historical reference and then put it together with this notion that you have this artificial object that also represents nature in another kind of way. In this case, I took the same image manipulated it on Photoshop, printed it on some paper and silkscreen, and then had it uh, glassed into a surfboard. So that's sort of the, the story of the jump cut, the story, the break in the narrative, the dichotomy of the two different positions of the natural world and the artificial world, and to come back and bring it to Guild Hall in an area that's where surfing is important, where nature is a really important part of the culture. It just seems like a perfect fit to put this piece in the show.
You know, Guildhall is a very special place because it's a combination of a theater and an art museum. And I originally didn't even know about the theater when I came here. And I was more focused on the art, the collection, the focus on the artists of the East End, which meant something to me. I had a personal uh, relationship with a lot of the artists that were here before me. I was fortunate to get here early enough to meet some of those artists. And then there's this whole other dynamic. And then I went to see, you know, some of the music and events, and it became this kind of complete cultural um, institution of which there's nothing else like it as far as I know.